Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. The diagram below shows a circuit arrangement with identical dry cells, switches and bulbs. Now what are dry cells? Dry cells are just another name for batteries. Remember, when a question uses pictures like this instead of circuit symbols, we must be suspicious and check that the batteries and bulbs are connected properly. Now let's check the batteries. Even though they are not connected together, they are both facing in the same direction. Now let's check the bulbs. They must be connected at two points for the bulbs to light up the metal casing, and the metal tip. Now, these three bulbs are all connected properly. I'm going to label them as bulbs 1, 2, and 3. But hey, let's take a look at the fourth bulb here. The metal tip is not connected. Is this bulb going to light up? No, it won't. Now, let's write it down. Let's read on. Which of the following switches must be closed to light up at least three bulbs? Usually for this type of question involving switches closing, I would recommend going through one option at a time. But not for this question. Look, the question wants at least three bulbs to light up. But out of the four bulbs in the circuit, one bulb will definitely not light up as it is not connected properly. So, let's trace the pathway that electricity must flow through the remaining three bulbs so that all three will light up. The pathway that I am tracing now is the only possible pathway for all these three bulbs to light up. Now look at which switches are found in this pathway. Must S1 and S2 be open or closed for electricity to flow through this pathway? Yes, we have to close switches S1 and S2 so that this pathway becomes a closed circuit. This will allow electricity to flow through the three bulbs, lighting them up. Immediately, we get our answer as option number one instead of having to go through each option like usual. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!